Hello. Hello everyone, Zildjian here with another episode of City Skyline. So in the last episode we just finished off by building this bridge. Nice, look at all this traffic going on and across the bridge. And there's some more upgrades and I noticed some of these areas were all on hills so I rebuilt this area and upgrade some roads into you know at these two lane avenues and you know what let's go ahead and oh why does this have trees that's not very necessary but let's go ahead and upgrade some of these roads with trees and what's happening with these houses over there um, we're gonna have to like try to rebuild them it'll increase the land value ah oh, it's gonna destroy that house but that's okay And there's some avenues over here. Just want to increase the land value. It looks a little bit prettier. Okay, um, I think I'll just leave this as it is. Maybe upgrade these back into regular ones to save like $10 in upkeep or something. Over here is kind of close to the, these areas. So I guess I'll leave it as is. Um, yeah, let's beautify this area. See all those happy faces. They love it. Oh, we got that boom town. We can have a subway and a blimp now. An IT cluster and all these new stuff. And high density, high density and office zone. And I'm probably gonna not use high density that much because I tried it in my practice cities and oh my god the e explosion of traffic it's insane because oh no these used to be three lanes six lanes but you know what that's okay I can always tr turn it back into six lane roads if necessary okay I guess I could just put it there as well what happened? No, there's no reason to change it. Oh, there's a different kind of bridge though. For two lanes. That's cool. Um, let's go ahead and change that. Thematically, it doesn't make sense to have it, but they also would love to have some trees. Because they don't like pollution that much. Oh my god, all these upgraded buildings, they need more education. And I never built a university did I no I did not I have a high school and a university so I definitely want my university to be you know near this bus hub if possible and it's not entirely possible I'll just place it over here oh god at least I tr want to try to put it right next to the high school and I'll give some smiley faces to everybody Bam, almost all full residential coverage. Oh my God, why is it like that? That's so like gross looking, you know? But what are you gonna do about it? It's because of the hills. So what I definitely need to be doing is have some subways now. Yeah, I also have these fancy mod subways, but uh, honestly, I don't really like, them. they're less noisy. That's for sure, but they cost more. So I don't know how I feel about them. Maybe I'll use them, maybe or not. Like the upkeep costs, like some of them actually cost less, but yeah. Wow, they actually all cost more, but they have less noise pollution. I'll probably not use it. I'll just stick to the original. So definitely want to have a bus station somewhere over here. I mean a bus station, a train station over here with the bus hub. Um, so they can easily transfer between the buses and the subways. I probably want to put on, I just want to make sure people are going to be walking up here if they can cross. I mean, I guess they can cross the street down here and take the subway. So yeah, it won't matter that much which way I put it. So I'll just place it over here. So that's gonna be one subway stop. So obviously, 
yeah it's hard to connect the tunnels so that's why i'm still gonna have the ferry so i'll probably have a subway like over here next to the ferry and yeah but let's work on this side first so i definitely want to have a subway stop over here in moore park is this all residential yes it is that's okay that's fine because it's gonna be super noisy and you know what i don't want to put on the main road because it'll impede traffic what i'll do is if i put it near the bus stop what's gonna happen is they're all just gonna pile up on the bus i don't know like they're gonna want to take this but like train station to the bus or whatever i don't know but you know what it's fine if there's too many people waiting i can always you know make more transit stations and whatnot Okay, the bus is on that side, so I want I don't want them to have to like cross the street. So how about we just put it in the middle over here? And what I'm going to do is uh, just dezone this area and put in offices because they're not gonna like the noise. I don't know how much do I need. Let's just check. Yeah. So that, that will probably be fine for now. Oh, there's a fire station over there anyway. And let me just go ahead and dezone that and put that in there. So that will, because what happens is the offices will block the noise, I think. And also residentials that have noise pollution, they're not going to like it. So anyway, so that's like our first bus, I mean metro. What I sh could do is have another bus i mean metro station over here then they won't have to like all these people taking this bus so it'll be close to the ferry etc it's really like really crazy to have so many but okay let's put it near the park actually because that will block some of the oh god that's not what i wanted it will definitely block some of the noise pollution That's probably a little bit too much, but that's okay. And yeah, there, the offices are gonna also, oh, what I need to be doing is the budgeting for the, oh, 12%, 12% offices. Okay, so let's see, we got two metro stations over here. Um, let's put one in the Daffodil District. It doesn't really matter where I put it because, you know, it's going to... Oh, yeah. So this line is going to be like going across. This line will be, I don't know, will be like going that way or something. And we'll want to have probably one or two stops in the Concord District. Um... Okay, over here. That's where the train stop... I mean, the the bus stop is wait where did i put it in other directions okay i just put it near the bus stops i didn't put it directly in front i mean that one's right in front of it it's close to it okay whatever is that a park yeah it is um, let's go ahead and place another one over here. I mean, it's going to be weird the way I'm doing it, but yeah. I don't want it to be putting it on the main roads. So, oh, shoot. Right, okay. Okay. So I'm going to be connecting to that. Connecting to that one. Now here's the problem. This one will have to connect. I'm not going to be connecting it to the tr same tr station. So what I'm, I'm going to need is like. Um, with fine road anarchy, I could totally do it, but I can't. So I'll just put it on the cr across. And what I'm going to do is see if I can do a pedestrian path. and connect these areas pavement path gravel path oh there's different ones or whatever
Okay, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move this to like over here or something. Let's just move it over there for now. I can fine tune it later. Okay. So, oh God, what's with the shadow? It's, it's close to nighttime or something? So what's gonna happen is people, they can walk up these pedestrian paths and then so they don't have to cross the street and get run over by buses, yo. And let's go ahead, oh God. Let's do one on the other side as well. Okay. Yeah, so they can cross the street and get up there. I mean, anyone who's over here, they could just walk down there. But it's for people on these... Is this train station or these buses? Okay. So actually, I can go ahead and connect this line. People can start using it right away. And they'll be traveling back. It's just a straight line looping back and forth. And we're going to go ahead and add one vehicle because it's just low residential. I don't think we're going to need that much. Cedar Heights to Moore Park. Yeah. So probably one train is going to be enough because it's really short distance. But if anything, we can always do in another one. And we got that one. Oh my god. I mean, it seems like it's so short, right? But obviously the problem is they have to cross all these roads and stuff. So yeah. So it's kind of inefficient, but whatever. Okay, yeah. So definitely it's expensive, inefficient, etc. But whatever. Let's just go with it. Just, just go with it. And that's going to be another one. And um, now, do I want to put it in Autumn Square or Lafayette Heights? Autumn Square is residential, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there, maybe. I mean, either way, they can take the bus. But I feel like, you know, people are definitely going to be wanting to come to Lafayette Heights because it's a commercial area, but... I mean, I could just have a loop around. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and put one in here. Again, put it on the same side as the bus stations. You know what? Forget it. Let's just do it. Definitely the people might stop taking the bus and take the metro instead, but that's honestly no big deal because the bus can only handle like 30 passengers anyway okay and this one is autumn square to daffodil district technically it goes to the bus hub uh, i guess i could just write that bus hub actually i'm just going to call it the transit hub now And transit hub tile one because this is still the first tile. I don't know if it matters or not, but now it's called the transit hub tile one because we're still in the first tile. And did I add the vehicle? No, I did not. Okay. Do you see? Bam! There's 200 people lining up. Oh my god, there's hundreds of people. So what's going to happen is people are going to stop taking the bus. Not stop, but there will be less people taking the bus. But that's fine, because with the bus stops, they increase the happiness. So even if you, see, even if nobody takes it, that's not a big deal. I mean, obviously, if nobody takes it, what I can do is remove the amount of buses. Like over here, now it's like no one's taking the bus. So I can go ahead and take, remove one of the buses. So it's just one bus on the line. 
and we'll just have the happiness from it. This one actually has quite a lot of people, maybe because the subway actually increased the usership. Usership. This one actually might need a second bus. Oh. Yeah, not much people using this bus line. Huh, I think we can remove one from here. Maybe, yeah. And again, remove one of these bus li buses, Lafayette Heights. Well, that's actually a lot of people. What's going on here? Oh yeah, because I don't have a subway over here yet. That's that's definitely a problem. Now there's tons of people using this, the bus. I mean the subways. Uh, let's go ahead and just check the noise pollution for a second there. They don't care about the noise pollution. They kind of do care. Yeah, see, here's the problem. They're, they have health issues now because they're living right next to the subway. I guess I'll handle that situation later. And now we're just going to have... Add in like a train uh, subway stop here in Grove Heights. Um, I can actually go ahead and just put it on the side. Should I? No, most of the bus stops are on the other side. You know what? Why is it interfering? All oh, right. <laughs> okay, put one over here. Uh, do I want to put one on the other side? Maybe. Put one on the other side. And then put one in the spring parks. I might actually need two of them, but that's fine. I mean, honestly, I could just have one line going down there or one line going down there. That's very inefficient, but yeah. Okay. Bam, There's because there's the bus right there. And I said I wasn't gonna put the connect the bus lines with the subway lines, but I guess I changed my mind. Um, Grove Heights Spring Heights. I think that's that's the name. Spring Park, okay. Just kind of one, because there's two of them. And did I add a train? Of course I did not. Okay, bam, we got the bus, I mean the subway. And Spring Park 2, Grove Heights Spring Park 2, add in a vehicle. I mean, maybe it would have been better if I moved this over here with the farmland. But that's okay. Why is nobody... Nobody wants to settle in that area? What's happening here? Check out the traffic, 95% still pretty decent. This road is still jammed up and really nothing I can do about it short of because cars coming over here to drive over there. I mean, I could have a bridge over here, connected over there maybe, but I don't know what I would connect it to though. I mean, I, if I connect it to this road, people will be turning over here and driving across there instead of turning over there and driving across there. So I don't know. 
But yeah, so I upgraded my bus hub into a little transit hub, so it's a little more, bit more expansive now. So I would like to, yeah. Oh my god, look at all these people pouring in. Oh, yeah, they're still crossing. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Look at all these people crossing. Good thing I don't have that many buses, otherwise would, they would get run over. But yeah. So hopefully everyone's enjoying this series. If you like or dislike this video, be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.